today I'm going to red, white, and blue in Hollywood, Florida, and I'm taking you with me. I've got one mission and one mission only. Find the old treasures and get them to new vintage lovers' homes. We here at Jolie Flips Vintage pick through every location we visit with a fine tooth comb. Be it thrift shops, garage or estate sales, vintage markets, or antique malls, if there are secondhand luxury pieces lurking around, we will surely find them. So pull up a seat, get cozy, and Jolie flip with us. And here we are at Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Hollywood yet again. And we're gonna go and see what's good, cash only. Green is 75 off, red and white is 50. So green, red, white. So very interesting for me, I instantly went to the scarves. I normally do not do that. I go straight to the hard goods, but something drew me to this pattern and this is all silk. It just says silk, 100% silk. And I'm actually looking for the tag just to show you. And here it is, 100% silk. Then I found this Scandinavian looking vintage scarf that feels real silky. Don't know what material it is and I'm hoping the staples don't leave any holes in there, but I know how to take them out just right where uh, it doesn't happen. But this is made in Italy and it is 100% um, Italian silk and 100% English wool. So yeah, we're picking that up. Vintage and then this I end up putting back. I will put it in my cart for now. Um, it's kind of, it's very vintage. It says made in Italy, but it's, uh, I think it's acrylic. And so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna end up leaving that because it's actually not a scarf. It's more of like you put your, you put your arms through the holes in there. So $7.99 for that. But I end up putting that one back. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this cap pillow up. The last time I sold one, I sold it for about $25. So, um, just for a couple of dollars, I think it's worth it. <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> and I see this German Shepherd here as well that just fell and I've never sold the germ a, a dog one before so it's not the same material so I wonder if it's from the same company maybe it's something made out of Amazon but German Shepherds sell well for me so for a couple dollars I will hope to get at least $35 for it I like this bag because I think it's kind of whimsical but there's velcro in it and it actually feels pretty cheap so although um, I'm going to take it and put it in my cart, hint, hint, I do put it right back at the end. This unfortunately is a lunchbox because I think if it was a purse and it was more like nice inside and it wasn't $8, I think it's half off. Um, I would have picked it up, but look at this. This is so beautiful, but... Oh my goodness, they want about $90 for that and it's actually broken right there. The shells are popping right out. So, but Lucite handle, I think it's neat. I would have picked it up for, for even like 20 bucks, but yeah, no. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna get $90 for that, but I could be wrong. This is actually plastic and, and um, fabric but look at the handle it's pretty it's pretty bad yeah we're gonna end up leaving that so this is so weird how i came through this side i normally start all the way on the left with the vases but this uh red and green candle holder is really nice i wish it was old um, but it's not so it's actually pretty cheap looking up close but hopefully somebody picks that up for Christmas just look down here to see if there's any other finds that are worth picking up I kind of go through the mug several times during one thrifting trip this is a project piece pottery that's not really well made these are Colombian pottery mugs and I think there's three of them but they're kind of boring so I'll leave it but yeah I go through the mugs several times because they are stocking the shelves constantly at the red white and blue stores and I like to see what they put down these are definitely stoneware pottery mugs four dollars for a set with four pieces but I'll pass these two are pottery little espresso mugs or macchiato mugs and this, I just kind of really like the burst of yellow 
I don't know what it said underneath there, but $10 is a little steep, so I'll leave it. These bunnies would probably sell real well right now, but they want $8 for each one, you know, because Easter's coming, but I would have picked them up if they were just like $2.99, even $3.99. Always check for antique candle holders. They are selling right now. This powder room um, toothbrush holder, I wish it was glass, but it's not. It's uh, plastic. This is a uh, pottery from Canada shoe. I'm not gonna pick it up. Any shoe does not sell for me. No Fenton shoes, nothing. This is signed pottery. I'm gonna grab it. The design kind of looks like, reminds me of the yellow mirror. I think it's a yellow mirror in the show Friends. <laughs> Just kind of whimsical like that. Um, let's see. We always look through the clear because you never know when you've got a Tiffany or a really good Waterford or really good Costa Boda sitting there. This is a bottle. This is the topper of one bottle that is missing. There are, I don't know if they're real copper flakes, but I call them copper flakes within the glass, cased glass. Um, they're from China, likely. They are meant to look Italian, but they are not. These are lightweight and ridiculous. They want $4 and they price the bottom one sep the the bottle itself separately from the topper so no i'm not doing that it would be, it'd be like nine to ten dollars so no thanks um this is italian pottery amara uh i've seen these before so i like it i'm gonna put it in the cart it's they it's 2.99 they want three dollars so i'm gonna put it back though eventually so this is a Samurso murano vase and there are no issues with it and i will pick it up for 25 dollars because i could probably resell that for three to four hundred dollars this is a flash colored bottle see the sticker says made in spain italians do that kind of swirl too with bottles but uh it's not super interesting so i'll put it back <clears throat> these wall pockets are real cool uh, i saw someone eyeing it so hopefully they'll pick that up this is dansk i just um sold recently sold um one of these birds in a smaller one for about 28 dollars so i'm gonna pick it up even though that's not such a high profit i just really like it and i'd like to try to distribute those like things that i really like to homes good homes instead of it getting thrown away these are um made in china this one is made in China too, but this is old China. Um, one ninety nine. I was thinking, well, you could put pencils in it. <laughs> this is broken, unfortunately. It's kind of cool. It's got a clay head, um, and the stem is glass. But there's a chip there also, and the glass is broken, so we'll just leave it. This is a really cool, nicely polished bottom, paperweight. And they do tell me at the register it is $40. There's no tag on it, but the code means $40. So I don't end up picking it up. There's also a bruise at the bottom of it, like a like a chip within the glass. This one, you guys, I do pay up $8 for it, but I didn't realize there was a chip on the side of bottom, bottom side, but I'm gonna pick it up anyway. This gal for $7.99, I do put her back. I didn't even look her up. I, I was just trying to rush out of the store because it was closing. Um, I do put her back though. I'm waiting for those little ceramic kits to go on sale. This is made in China. Um, this is definitely made in China and very bad quality. Very, very lightweight. Yeah, these children, I just love their eyelashes, but they're not on sale just yet and they want $6 a piece. just kind of like to look at things that seem very old the figurines always catch my eye but um i don't pick up all of them only if i know they're like really worth some money like some rare joseph originals and i don't even know why i'm looking at the cherubs because they really just never sell for me another paperweight this one's from k's collection they want six dollars for it it'll be half off 
case collection is a Dollar Tree distribution company name or whatever. This is a polar bear with some colorful art within it. It's almost like recycled glass, but they want $13 for it. Glass peach. I guess it's a peach. It's quite orange. Glass fruit doesn't really sell well for me. Um, this is flash colored. I just kind of picked it up to look underneath to, to make sure it was flash colored and it's really pretty anyway. Be careful. This is a very modern mushroom. And a very modern fish. They want $7.99 at TJ Maxx and $4.99 here used. <laughs> <clears throat> A ceramic hand or painted apple purple apple just checking these because um, look up Sid SID Dickens d-i-c-k-e-n-s that is a highly resellable that's a word resellable um, plaque wall decor and I I like to look at all the plaques to make sure it's not Sid Dickens um, I'm gonna pick up this little ceramic dog. He is antique and he's only three dollars and he's got no chips or cracks. So into the cart he goes or she goes. Miss Peggy is still here with that chip. A very modern piece, maybe from a gift shop. A pottery bridge. For a buck ninety nine, don't need it. Can't figure out if this is a toothbrush holder or what. It's definitely from, likely from the sixties or seventies, maybe even eighties. Um, just feels quite old. But I'm putting it in the cart to look it up. But spoiler alert, I find nothing on it and I put it back. This I thought was a Viking glass whale. It turns out it is Pilgrim and it is worth about thirty dollars. So. Um, I got it for half of $7.99. When you see scuffs on the glass like that, if there's like a matte glass, there's sometimes scuffs all over it, especially those Murano Milli Fury, if they're matte-like, like satin glass, use a magic eraser. That really does help. The Mr. Clean or magic erasers. I like this key, a wall key holder but there is a chip on it. He's quite old also. I just don't like his face. <laughs> I don't pick him up. I'm sorry, doggy. He's $5, so I was like, nah, I don't like you enough. <laughs> and this is pretty old too. Again, not so exciting for $3. And a stone cat for $6. I don't think that these sell very well. They're very heavy. This little graduate, she had no price on her, but I'm guessing she was about $3.99. Usually those kind of figurines here sell for about $3 to $4.99. Oh, I love this. I'm not sure if this was like a bell, a pottery bell before, but you can definitely put like a flameless candle inside of it and that would be neat. I have never seen milk glass like this one before. They're usually the green glass, right? Don't know if it's anchor hawking but maybe it's eo brody in which case would not sell well and they want 13 so i definitely will not pick that up don't know if this is italian pottery either or spanish or portuguese but don't want that okay so i'm getting mixed things about this piece because some people say it's from the 20s some people say it's from the 40s and there is a brand with the r on it like it starts with the r i'm gonna pick it up anyway it's very nice with the thick thick paint um this alice i don't know what she sells for exactly the comps are all over the place but it is by the brand man m-a-n-n -N, which kind of is a cheaper brand it doesn't really resell well for me so i'll leave that this is a, a bottle Unfortunately, this uh, elephant still has that <laughs> broken problem. This monkey is a uh, resin, and he's probably from a here speak, uh, no evil thing. Um, hear no evil, speak no evil, that kind of thing. <laughs> See no evil, I, I don't know. 
that was the iron wood by the way that monkey was the iron wood these are vintage shells which are kind of cool look how old they are adam and i have enough shells from sanibel marco island and all these places we go to the get shells someone did ask for a shelling video so look out for that that it should be coming soon hopefully i remember <laughs> this is from ross i love how they use the sharpie marker to cross out the two dollars and 99 cents and then ask for three dollars and 99 cents it's flash and i'm just showing you how the paint is already wearing and look at the bottom it's just terrible when they do stuff like that this might be something you guys i think that's supposed to be like trees there are toothpick holders or picks in there but they're missing some picks but see how it's signed pottery but i did a quick google lens search and i just couldn't find anything on it so i do leave it i think with all of the picks intact i could probably have bought it for two dollars and 99 cents and resold it for about 28 to 30 dollars i don't think anything too crazy on that unless i'm wrong if you know anything about that potter let me know like this mid-century pot back here that is a beautiful glaze and it is signed it's definitely vintage you would pay half of eight dollars but i just have so many pots so i'm gonna leave this here for someone else soap glycerin soap look at these mushrooms all three for 9.99 i do put it in my cart i do leave it at the register the reason is because i think they're modern i could be wrong but i've done google research and an ebay research and i could not find it anywhere and they just look too perfect for them to be super vintage if they're vintage or 90s vintage but to me when i got to the register they kind of felt like the target dollar section you know i don't know i could be wrong these planters are kind of cool but they all have candles in it this is really cool too. Flash colored, yes. I forget the name of the design of this, but I actually how it was like a snack platter with a custard bowl. That's cool. I thought it was Polish pottery, so <laughs> it's not. I don't think so. Again, I told you, I go right back to the mugs because you always miss something, you know? Well, I do. Let's see. See? Definitely. Aldrith. Eldrith. Uh, is that what that said? Well, for $3.99, that is awesome. That is a dragonfly. It is pottery. It's just beautiful. You don't have to put fluids in it. You could just put plant. I put some fake cat skulls in there. It'd be really cute. Um, back to the mugs. Some Asian Irish mugs here. Asian decor Irish mugs stoneware I don't know it's a lot going on this just kind of looks like candy like a big cupcake it's more modern I thought it was like if it was handmade pottery I would have picked it up but it's not I know I'm taking my time here with the bugs but believe me you want to do that especially here because things are hiding nature's home i thought that was something someone made but it's not these are interesting they're flash colored they might be indiana glass you guys i have no idea but they're like smoky dark silver gray uh, flash but i end up leaving them they want three dollars a piece these are waterford crystals for six dollars each if you needed it for some type of event that is a really good deal but for me i don't need it not for resale not that waterford can't sell it can sell but for me it stays on my shelf a little too long these say arte murano don't be fooled for thinking that this is murano la bombonera bombonera see how it says la bombonera that has uh candied almonds on the side this was probably an italian wedding <laughs> And uh, bomboneras are souvenirs, little things, little gifts that you give your guests. And they are usually at the table already when they're sitting down, if you didn't know that. And it says Arte Mu uh, Murano on these. So see how they priced it at $34.99 for all of them? Yeah, Arte Murano is not real Murano. It is the art of Murano, so don't get fooled. Um, this is cool. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up because it looks like a bottle, but it's really to store food and it's glass and it had a little pottery tag that i liked so i just want to show you this anchor hawking wexford um 
pattern here. There's another one without the lid on it nearby. This would be worth it to pick up because that is coming back as well, but they want too much for it. This is really cool. I just took this right out of one of the fresh carts for $5. I got a haul uh, vase, totally intact. And I did pick up this very large teapot paperweight, which I think is beautiful for $13, but it is made in China and I ended up putting that back. So uh, sorry if you wanted that. <laughs> then this one is a crystalline pottery for $3. That is excellent condition. It's edge comb potters. I think I would pick this up if it was actually somewhat valuable. It only retails for, I'm sorry, resells for about $28 to $35. They want $8 for it with no discount. So I just didn't even reach up to get it down because I already knew what that resold, uh, resold for. Um, I think if this was in the turquoise color, I would have picked it up. That's a more desirable color. Oh, oh wait, actually, no, I forgot there's a big old crack here look at that that's coming right off and I don't show it in the video but I did check to see if this these glowed and they don't so they're a little darker yellow not like a Vaseline glass or anything like that so it's just pressed glass this is blue sky I am going to leave it I used to pick up blue sky and I used to pick up Amy Lacombe all the time the cats with the little ball whiskers but they're just slowing down in sales. So is um, a willow tree. Uh, I don't pick those up too. I think the brand is Demdaco that makes willow tree. Crocs are really hot right now. This one had something on it. So they want $4 for it. It's salt glaze. Sheldon Tavern, I think it said. I don't know what that is, so I left it. Let me know if I was wrong there. Should I have picked that up? Always check these to make sure they are not 0.925. Um, definitely, they can be on the rim, um, and therefore their value would go up. If they're plated, I wouldn't pick them up. This scared the crap out of me. Um, it's a snapping turtle. It is a vintage snapping turtle for $5.99. I wonder if some kid put this up there just to scare all of us. <laughs> She just set these down. They're okay. These were pan painted and just not, they're not worth much, I don't think so. Um, I don't see anything in the shakers. This is cool. This is uh, a celery dish from Restoration Hardware, but only resells for about $20 to $40. So I don't really want to pick that up, even if it's just a couple of dollars. And it was like a resin, it's plastic. Just scanning the shelves, kind of like what we do on Whatnot sometimes. We scan our shelves and then people shout out what they want to purchase from you from your shelves that you're showing. Um, this is a really cool find, you guys. It is signed Campbell for Bill Campbell for $3.99. There's a small bowl and a bigger bowl. So that is a hot find. You could sell that probably close to $100 on the right platform. making sure that this is not vintage. I don't think it is, but the pattern's kind of neato. Checking, checking, checking. I kind of like this platter, but just don't need it. I do not need it. These are cool. I like how there's kind of like a single, it's kind of got like a distressed look, right? Like a single glaze layer, and that way you could see the pottery underneath. Now, these I'm going to pick up. They look like miniature little French onion soup uh, bowls, and they have um, horse uh, design sponged on it. Does not have the name of the maker underneath. This salt glaze. Um, pot with a lid I'm going to pick up. I mean, it's just great. I can't really read what it says on there, but definitely I'm going to pick that up. 
that's quite modern so for them to want forty dollars for this i don't think that they're gonna get it unless it's a michael aram which i didn't actually check to see if it was if it was then it'd probably be worth it but i wouldn't sell it at a thrift store for that much i'm kind of admiring these bowls i'm thinking mixed metals would look really cute on a counter they don't want a whole lot for them but i don't need it this is definitely an mcm pot for $5.99 and then I end up removing the lid to check inside and it's okay you can see that it was used a little bit but I don't end up picking that up because the handles were really worn and they don't resell for more than $20 online this is a, a vintage bunt cake pan from Germany and um if it wasn't worn inside, I think I would have picked that up because I'm pretty sure that that resells for about $30 to $35. And this I'm totally going to pick up, you guys. This is totally MCM. They only want $8 and I sold uh, an orange one in the past. Same pattern. And I believe I sold it for a little over $200. It was either $220 or $230 on um, Cherish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that one up. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. I don't think this is very vintage, but I really like it. It's a cool turkey mold. I did think about, should I buy this and make a turkey shaped meatloaf or stuffing mold? And then I thought, no, <laughs> like who am I kidding? That will just sit in my cupboards and never get used. All right, let's look on the walls here. Baggies. Kind of like to just sift through them real quick. I figured if something is going to catch my eye, it's going to catch my eye. I am over at the wood section now, and I like this little MCM bowl. Look at the grain on it. I like it. Put that in there. Yep. Let's see. These are still here. I've seen all of these before on my last visit. I just really love touching old wood. <laughs> I'm just checking to make sure this isn't some kind of really good Scandinavian company other than Ikea that I can resell for big money. These vases, I think they're made in Haiti. I have sold them before. Not for high profit, but I have sold them. I think I would have picked this up, you guys, because it's painted. But I think they want too much for it. I think $10 is a little steep. And I made my way over here to the um, pottery mirror. It's not signed. And I'm really quite amazed at it at this point for just, you know, a couple, a few dollars. I think it was $3.99. But I end up going back to the shelves and putting it back. I think it's important to put things back on the shelves, you guys, if you do that. Um, that's great because it's, I find it unfair. Well, let's see, this has like this big scratch on it. So I leave those. But I find it very unfair when I see people go to the register and they're just like well I changed my mind about this and it's okay if it's one to two things I think but like a whole bunch of stuff I don't know just take the time to put it back if they're closing then just be kind of you know mindful of your time I don't know that's just me I, I just think that's proper thrifting etiquette this kind of looks Scandinavian but it's resin and very modern I think it's made in China so I'll put it back I, I do like the way the tail feather is there these kids are still on in the frames. I feel kind of bad showing it, but I mean, it is a thrift store. It's a photo album. It's kind of neat. <laughs> the photos are still in there. A little trinket box. Very cheap, cheap made. And this is a candle holder. It's very worn. I think this is a Russian deer head. Wood carved. And this is something I end up, you know, putting back. Because I'm pretty amazed at it. Because I think it's so cool in mid-century. But the way that the neck is carved kind of grossed me out a little bit. And see, I keep like moving it back and forth. Because 
I'm like not sure if I like it. Well, I ultimately did not like it, so I put it back. These are for nuts. I believe they are for nuts. That's not. I thought this whole thing was part of the set, like because it's obviously not complete. I think I don't know. I never pick up those nut things. Oh, <laughs> something fall. Yeah. Oh, a mirror that is not glued in right. We'll just put it back in there. So it's like a little suitcase with a mirror, like a compact. A resin cross box, which is cool. I think I would have picked this up if it was um, wood. These bone boxes don't really resell well for me. I used to buy them thinking, wow, they're amazing. Well, who is the name of this character? Is that a Disney or a Pixar character? That, that penguin's interesting. This is a Jim Shore piece, and these do resell pretty well for me. This would have got me about $30 to $40, but they want $10 for it, so uh, no. This one is kind of weird, you guys. It has like a mid-century wood. Teak, maybe it's teak. Um, but the painting is kind of modern, and I can't figure out if it's supposed to be in a cabana vase i don't know it's very lightweight and um <laughs> i'm not sure what it is up close it doesn't look very good so i'm just gonna put it right back on the shelf let me know if you guys know what that is this however is uh heath pottery and uh yeah this is gonna resell for a good amount maybe about 80 dollars there's no issues with it whatsoever Heath, look out for that brand. That is a be on the lookout. Hashtag Bolo. H E A T H. Guess like the Heath bar. I'm so excited at this point, so I keep showing you guys. <laughs> so cool. Still debating whether I should get that, but I don't. I don't get that um, Ikebana looking thing. <laughs> this is kind of neat. Very bohemian like. Uh, I will leave it. I love the wood section. There's always surprises lurking like this. Heron or Ibis. Is it a Heron or Ibis? I always mix them up on a log. That is resin. I will leave it. This is kind of cool. I looked this up. This is a bookend, but one of his eyes is really like kind of turned up. So <laughs> I didn't want to get that. I'm just touching everything to see what feels like quality. That's really the only way to know. Ooh, those mouse traps. Let me not touch that because with my luck, my finger will get stuck in it. I find this MCM tray. Again, something I end up going back and putting back on the shelf. I really like it. And maybe it looks good on camera, but it's very dirty. And in the crevices, it's very, very dirty. But it's so cool. But I do put that back. This one I wanted to desperately pick up, but it's missing something right here. But these can resell for about $30 to $40. They're just vintage um, ashtrays. This uh, peacock is still there. We're almost at the end of our journey. Resin, very lightweight. Uh oh. Oh, yes, I find a 1940s piece. Now, this is plastic. It is the um, Last Supper scene, but this can resell pretty well around Christmas time. But I'm going to put it up anyway. I'm kind of happy at this point because I've seen these um, sold for about $40 to $50. So um, I'm going to pick that up for just a couple of dollars. And don't know, don't like that. Do, do, do. Just like to look behind everything. This is cool. This is pewter. Um, I did look this up, and the comps were all over the place here. So they want a lot of money for it. So I'm gonna leave it behind. This is a Hallmark piece. There's no place like home. Wizard of Oz, and I think that that is worth the pickup because I could resell that for about $30, but it's beautiful, and I think that someone deserves to have that. Okay, let's see what else. Happy. 
just kind of looking everywhere. Wish this was a painting, but it is definitely a print. It's so pretty. It's so happy. Okay, this is really cool. This is a card holder. Um, I think it says Lee Susan. I end up putting it back because I can't see the point of me buying this card holder. It is $1.99. Honestly, it's a little kind of bland. Oh man, I would have picked these up so bad if they were not $12.99 a piece with no discount. I really like those with the blue velvet mat matted part. Thank you all for coming with me on this adventure. If there's anything that you saw me thrift that you would like to purchase, just email me at jolieflips at AOL.com. If you notice, there's no music in the background because I found out that the copyright was coming from the iMovie, supposedly royalty-free music that we are allowed to use. So that is an Apple issue, and I've reported that. So no music going forward, which is totally fine. If you guys are in the Lake Park area or the Palm Beach area this coming weekend, March 16th, Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., Adam and I will be vendors at the Rust Market. So we hope to see you there. Thank you guys again for all of your support. We love you. Talk soon. Bye.